Thanks, and it is an honor for me to have a chance to talk a little bit Oregon football with, uh, I must say, one of the icons in sports broadcasting. He may not agree. Brent Musburger, if you've watched sports at all, football, basketball, baseball through the years, you cannot have watched it and not seen this guy. I just want to say thank you for this fall, Thanks, the opportunity to uh, to have you come and visit us. Hey, it's always a pleasure. As you know, we had, we've had a great run with uh, Oregon football over the last few years, and so we're really looking forward to the opener down in Arlington against LSU. You have been around some of the great football programs through the years, and it's been sort of interesting for us, and I'm anxious to get your take on the emergence of Oregon over the last few years. Yeah, they have become a national label, if we can say, you know, and back in the day, they were a nice team in the Northwest, and people knew they were out here, and when they won, fine, but now it's a national attraction. F fans down in Florida, and Georgia, Louisiana, they pay attention to what the Ducks are doing because after all, they made it all the way to the BCS championship last year and they've got a chance to do it again this year. That BCS championship game, for us, our first opportunity, it was just all, it was the greatness uh, of, of a championship game. You, you've seen a few of those. That was a great game, even though for the Duck fans, they didn't get a chance to win it. That was as good as it gets. Yeah, it was. And Jerry, if you and I were to turn let's say three plays the other way, the Ducks win and the Tigers lose. I mean, it was that thin, the margin. Oregon, as you remember, was a little bit sluggish at the start. And then they kind of got things going and made some plays. Start, yeah. yeah, they really did. Uh, but when it was all said and done, it was it actually was one of the better championship games. Now, we've got a big matchup coming up, LSU, right. Oregon, on a big stage. What are you expecting? Have you had a chance to really take a look at both these teams this year? Well, you know, I actually have taken a look at Oregon probably more than LSU because I was here for the spring game, and I've paid attention to what the Ducks are doing, coming in here to talk to you guys. And I think the, the bigger question about Oregon for me is not the offense. I think with Thomas and James, they're equipped, and they can replace the linemen of left. I think there's bigger issues and bigger questions about the defense lost the leadership of Matthews, lost a lot of talent up front. Uh, they're going to be without Harris in their opener against LSU. And now Aliotti's a dear friend. We've known him forever, as you have. And I know he does remarkable things, but he's dealing with some untested personnel here. So we'll have to see how they hold up in that game. But I have bigger question marks about the defense than I do the offense. Great early season matchup, though. For fans, it couldn't be any better. Oh, it's it's great when you when you think about it. Here we've got here we've got Oregon going right down to the final seconds before they lose the BCS championship. You've got LSU, which won it a few years back, and of course they're in the SEC. Not only that, they're in the SEC West, where uh, Alabama and Auburn have come out yeah. the last two years to win the championship. And the Tigers are, are one of the better teams in that division. I think it is going to be one of the don't miss games of this year's college football season. Now, I've never been in Jerry Jones' house. I, I, I'm assuming you've been there. Do any binoculars? I bring my binoculars. <laughs> you know, Jerry, I went in <laughs> to call the first game, and I was so mesmerized by that big TV screen, I didn't even need a monitor in the booth. Uh, it is a fabulous, it is one of a kind, and uh, probably the best uh, stadium in the United States. So your fans that go down there are going to really enjoy the experience. Well, he's a uh, Portland, Oregonian, a native, born here but raised in Montana. And uh, I, I know uh, unbiased or biased, but uh, you're a duck, all right? In our minds, we kind of got you as a duck. Shh, but I do like Oregon. <laughs> I like that. Thanks, Brent.